1985 was the last time the Huskies traveled here to Brigham Young Territory in Cougar Stadium. Then the defending national champions, BYU Cougars, put a hurting on the Huskies, who were ranked number two the previous year, 31 to three. The Cougars did it with offense and with great defense. Since then, the Huskies have avenged that loss. We are here in the Wasatch Mountain Valley, Provo, Utah, in the shadows of Squaw Peak for what could be an exciting electric college football game. And Certainly great atmosphere here. Kept and last year in Husky Stadium, the offensive line came through, allowed enough time for the quarterback to look around and find receivers open downfield for the big score. The other thing they did is they ran block extremely well and allowed guys like Rashawn Sheehy to find enough time to get in the end zone. And of course, the coach of the 1984 national champions. You know, there are only three other coaches in the country. Bowden at Florida State in his 32nd year, Joe Pa, and a new commodity, a new quarterback by the name of Paul Shoemaker. Six feet, 200, a junior from Longmont, Colorado. He's only had 13 attempts in his two-year career here at Brigham Young University. Shorek up on the line to the right-hand side. Shoemaker, the quarterback under center. Two fakes, throws out on the flat. A man wide open in midfield, getting inside Husky territory to the 35, inside the 35-yard line. Wide out. Two receivers wide on the right side for the Cougars. Shoemaker under center. Here's the give to the second man through. Up the middle. He has running room. He leans forward, but a fumble to about the 16-yard line. Jensen is there on top of the football. So are some Husky DBs, but they're going to rule that the man was down. He got loose up the middle. Well, he's a big running back. He's 215 pounds, and right there, big hole. Lester Towns with the miss on the tackle. If the DBs do not want to be doing this all day. The ball resting at the Husky 20-yard line. Shoemaker, a diminutive quarterback at 6-2, steps back, throw pass left side. It's a screen slowly developing. McKenzie breaks outside, leans forward inside the five-yard line. Another two men in the backfield. He's going to go alone, and he scores. Shoemaker up the middle. I don't think so, Kevin. Well, let's wait and see. BYU indicating touchdown, but that doesn't count until the officials do, and now they have Paper. Hewitt. With a handoff up the middle of Sheehy, jukes right, moves left, up the center of the field, he breaks to the 30-yard line, gets out wide to the 20, to the sideline in the foot race, tries to cut back inside the 10 to the 5, leads to the one-yard line before he is brought down. There was Sean running away from him. Here's the handoff, it is Reed up the middle for the touchdown, and the Huskies score, and they are quickly back in the ball. There's left and right, the man in motion, Sataki. Here's Shoemaker, fake give, naked bootleg, nearly tripped up in the backfield. He's going to get away. He's going to be picked up by the secondary. Towns gives Chase out to the right side. Oh, my. Nigel Burton came in the line of scrimmage. Al settle in on the right side in a tight end position for the Cougars. Shoemaker back to throw, looking to the left side. He set up the screen to McKenzie. Steps by two tacklers. Angles his way to the center of the field. Still on his feet. Wrapped up by two tacklers and brought down. And hitting him right on the shoulder, forcing him into another <laughs> rock. Shoemaker with a give off to the left side, slanting to the 50 inside Husky territory, down to about the foot. And 21 yards to go. Here's Shoemaker back to throw from the shotgun, looking to the right side, going to throw a little screen pass outside, but the Huskies cover that up beautifully. They had four guys with their second possession of the afternoon. Ewart, play action, looking to throw, looking for the bundle, down deep. He's got a man. It's Payton making the catch between defenders, holds it down. He appeared in four games last year, did not have a field goal attempt last year, and the kick is blocked. It is blocked. Ben Cook shooting through up the middle. Back keeper for the score. 7-7 is their score here in the second period at about his 12-yard line. Shoemaker, straight drop, man blitzing. Nigel Burton puts a, a real, real shot into Shoemaker. Thank you, Freddie Coleman. On the move right to left. You were back to throw, forced out of the pocket, and has to get rid of it. To begin this march, at about the 16-yard line in their own zone. Shoemaker back to throw, looking to the right side, steps up, delivers over the middle, and making the catch down along, along the interior there, number 95. Here's Shoemaker back to throw. Men coming at him, converging left and right. Smith again was in there. to Goes in motion. Jarzink is lined up way out here at the flanker spot. You went back to throw. He's going to be dropped for a loss. Monolay back refreshed. 5.08 left here in the first half. Shoemaker, deep drop again. Pressure from the right side. Cut down at the knees. Unloads. Had a man out there, but threw it too far out. Here it gets that 6.5 frame under center. Hands to Sheehy. Goes left side. He's got a man in front of him. He leans forward for the score. Touchdown, Huskies, and a big block set up by the BYU Cougars. Man in motion to the right side. This Cahoon, he is yet to catch a ball. 
Shoemaker deep drop flares it off to the left side delayed screen the catch and the nobody else home in the backfield trips to the right side you were back to throw slant pass in for the touchdown Shoemaker with a handoff to McKenzie trying to break something right side and he's dropped down that should be it huh Kev Will Snowden actually with a carry and he's Drop down, and that will end the first half of play. 21-7 score, University of Washington leading BYU in Provo. We'll be back. 21-7. Second and eight for the Huskies. You're at the handoff to Sheehy. Works his way up the middle, gets a block. Coleman seals off the left side, freeing Sheehy for the Gator. He's to the 40, 35-30, could go the distance. He's down to the 10 with blocking. Three, two, one. Do we have a touchdown? No. Well. So here are the Huskies, first and about two to go, and they give off to the right side, and I think it was Wood who might have spun his way into the end zone. Let's see. That's Maurice Shaw into the end. Line drive level, and finally out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. A new quarterback for BYU. And let's take a look at this youngster, Kevin Paterik. Six feet, 190, sophomore out of Los Alamitos, California. One reason Lavelle Edwards is make the quarterback in the substitution that he has. Frederick back to throw. The lefty going out to his right in the flat. Pass complete. Here's a man beating the corner out to the right side, getting the first down and more inside of Husky territory. Ben for the Huskies. Has been the real key for the Fumbles. Here's a fumble ball. Jarred loose. Picked up by Miller. Still on his feet. Still on his feet to the 40. Dropped down from behind. Out first down 10 ball resting at the 24 of BYU you are back to throw man wide open over the middle she he turns and jogs into the end zone for another now that stance Suki Wiggs has done a good job of staying low and getting that right at the kneecaps and getting upfield the Tarek throws the ball outside again Dick Vermeil just loves the game here's a handoff to Shaw nice tackle in the backfield he's tripped up Davis the H back. Here's the handoff to Shaw. A straight arm going right side was unable to fight off the tackler. Block, so we'll get another opportunity here. From about the 22, the boot is up. Jones indicating he did not. You will take it. Got their own 20-yard line. Paterek spins, hands off, and rumbling off left tackle for a gain to make the Huskies. They've been relentless. Paterek in shotgun position. Will throw out to the left side. Cahoon has the first down and maybe a yard. Five to seven to score. The Huskies lead big. But Derek has a man to his right hand side. Now he's got a man open in the flat left side. He'll complete the pass. And another up, uh, here on make that Todd Johnson set up on the right side trying to slant in. Two defenders though blocking the pass is pitched out on the right side and quickly just. Back to throw for Terry. Scrambling after him and nearly dropping him to his feet. A couple of DBs. The pass did get to a, a man up front, but sure, I come. Talented people, they may leave a, ahead of time. And number two, it's a signal to the incoming guys and the people you're recruiting. Young talent will play. Oh, here's a great pass play. Thrown up for grabs down the left side and a touchdown. Aaron Roderick beat his man down the left sideline. Sideline from the shotgun. Position. It's hard to imagine you can get beat straight downfield like this with a third and extremely long situation, but Ture did. Excellent pass, a great catch. I think Ture hurt himself on the play. Roderick for a touchdown. Goes 62 yards. Here's the point after knocked down by the Huskies. They can return it. And the ball is live. The ball being juggled. The ball up for grabs. The ball being scooted ahead. Miller's got it. He can break away from the tackler and go. His ball <laughs> knocked away. The ball being kicked. Davis in motion. Hewitt back to throw. He's got a man going deep to the end zone. It's Coleman for the touchdown. Beautifully run. 15 and they'll adjust the, the clock in a moment. Viterek back to throw. Forced out of the pocket. Forced to the line of scrimmage. Loops it ahead and completes a pass for, I believe, a first down. We're here today. The Huskies lead it 42 to 13. Viterek back to throw. Forced out of the pocket. Scrambling off to the left side, throws back to his right. Difficult pass for the lefty to make. Complete pass, but juggled by the receiver. Live ball up for grabs. And recovered finally. From the far hash mark, Marcus Toyasasopo, the handoff to Harris. Churning his legs high. 
But Tarek, the quarterback, the number two on the depth chart, started the second half throwing out and left flat, complete little button hook spin. Losing the defender over there is Cahoon, and then he is wrapped up as the rest of the us was talking about earlier. One one sack and not many pressures that we can remember. Here's a pass over the middle. Right to the head. Paterik dropping back in the pocket, looking to the left. Now to the right. He's got Cahoon in the end zone and a touchdown. And again, it was Mr. Butler victimized by Ben Cahoon. Good route again, Ben Cahoon, but I, I have to question, you know, you, BYU is going to be throwing the ball deep. Looks like Teray Butler here kind of bit on a little hesitation move. Made up some space there, but not enough. Checks at the line. Here's the handoff. Harris trying to straight arm his way out of trouble. Can't. Gang tackled. That's right. Got to use the confidence factor. Federick back to throw again in his own end zone. Needs a bundle for the first down. Flows a pass out here off to the near side. Mel Miller is down there to make triple zeros up on the clock, and the Huskies have a victory to begin the year. So, a very, very nice win for the Washington Huskies over the BYU Cougars. Back to back wins last year and again this year for Washington over BYU. Final score. 42-20, the dogs win this one in Provo.